Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're talking about these meme accounts, something you gay guys, gays, guys may know about or may not know about. Let's talk about it. So you guys have probably seen this guy, he's a meme account. His name is probably obviously not Lance. You've seen this stuff on Instagram. And you, I told you guys that some people put this kind of stuff. But what you see here is, what would you do in this situation? Why would he ever, y'all can already see it coming. Why would you ever put this many girls in a meme account? Why? Don't you think it's odd? like, what would you do in this situation? What do you mean, what would I do in that situation? Nothing. And at the bottom, it says right here, this tweet is likely to have been undisclosed paid promotion. At least two of the models in the picture have replied to the creator who then replies to them back. This actually says something different earlier, um, but the girls ended up replying. So earlier when he first posted this, the people in the readers added context said the girls will more than likely reply to this. It was hilarious. It put it down there. said more than likely the girls will reply to this. And when the girls did reply, it changed to this right here. And wouldn't you know it? Look at that. If he, uh, whoop, that's the wrong part of the post. Sorry. The tweet got deleted. The tweet was deleted because of the paid promotion, paid promotion, guys. This just goes you to show you. Not everything is what you always truly believe, man. I just said earlier, money runs it all. This tweet doesn't even exist anymore. The only way that I can see it is because I had it bookmarked. Tweet's gone. Dead. Matter of fact, I'll check, I'll check it myself here real quickly. Guys, they're always trying to push something to you guys. These meme accounts and everything like that, I'm not saying they shouldn't make a little bit of money, but y'all always think, or I always used to think that it was innocent. Like, I'll look into this thing and be like, oh, this is perfectly normal. Yeah, well, I don't know why these girls are in this picture, but, oh, OnlyFans. Man, I'm so sick. I want to say something right quick. Let me get this off my chest. <clears throat> off. Listen. Listen. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I, I love, I just love doing this right now. Um, OnlyFans. <sighs> OnlyFans. You know, guys, since I've started live streaming and since I started making content like this kind of content two years ago. I've been on this case. Go back and watch some of my old videos. It's not going to be good as good as quality, but to go back. I've been on this OnlyFans train since pretty much it came out. Why? Because I don't like the company. Because these OnlyFans are always trying to push sex, always trying to push pornography, always trying to push the stuff on the men, always trying to push the stuff on the minors, always trying to push the stuff on the women. This is how they get everybody. This is how they get everybody. I know everybody says OnlyFans just going and hurting the men. Hear me out. What do they say to the women for OnlyFans? You can make so much money in this. You can show your body. It's all cool. Look at me. I'm getting the bag. Even though the vast majority of the people who are OnlyFans don't make a thing. Right? But they tell you you're going to get on there and show your body and everything's going to be cool. You're going to make all this bread. You're going to be a millionaire. You can get to the bag. And then you can just walk away. No, you cannot. You cannot just walk away. This this stuff is going to get leaked to your parents, to your friends, to your family, to your children, everybody. And so they're lying to women telling them this is female empowerment when it's only putting them in more chains. It's not female empowerment at all. Showing you having to show your nude body to uh, men is exactly what y'all used to fight against. Y'all used to want to be nurses. Y'all wanted y'all say y'all wanted to be nurses. Y'all wanted to be uh, CEOs. Y'all wanted to be all this stuff. Y'all wanted to work like a man and not be sexually objectified. But now you're pushing women to be sexually objectified. What? And they're saying, it's on my own terms. No, it's not, because these men are going to tell you what you're going to do. All these women get into this, and they just showing feet pics at first, and then it goes from feet pics to you-know-what pics. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that you even have to sell your socks and your feet, y'all think y'all are, you think that's winning? You think that selling your socks, your dirty socks to men that are creepy, the creepiest men on the planet, it feels like? The men who want to smell your dirty socks, you feel like you're winning? You feel like, oh, yeah, I'm getting money on these simps? Ask yourself these questions. Those are the kind of men that would come for you. Talk, go listen to all the, only fan, all the OnlyFans model who talks about stalking and they get all these creepy men. You want to just block them? They'll show up again. What are you going to do? Block everybody? Because there's a lot of creepy men who are going to be on OnlyFans because the only kind of men, really the only kind of men who are willing to pay for OnlyFans are men who have a, think they have a parasocial relationship with you. They really like you. 
and they think that y'all are friends or something like that, or they're the men who will pay you for pornography, they're already deep in the hole. They're deep in the addiction. They're not trying to stop at this point. They're already deep. It's like somebody who who goes and pays for a girl on the corner. What kind of men do you think do that? Those are the men that are deep, deep. They got to scratch that itch however they got to scratch it, and it only gets worse. It only gets worse. Now, off the women. Back to, well, how do you think this is hurting the men? All the men who are lonely today, all the men who can't get a date on Tinder or anything like that because all these girls want to go to OnlyFans and then uh, it's crazy. Think about this. All the men that women say that are trash, right? Their average men ain't making no money. They ain't doing all this stuff because they're only 25 years old. They're just trying to put it together. It takes some time to get a value as a man. But all these men who are doing all this stuff, they'll call them average trash and stuff like this. But these are the same men that they're making money off of OnlyFans and then begging for money, begging for you to get the DM, begging for you to look at their photo, begging for you to look into their videos, their 30 second clip or their butt cheeks. These are the same women that will do anything to get a little bit of money off of you. But they're saying that these men are trash and they're bums. And the second they get a little bit of money, they're they're quick to call Every average guy not making enough money, even though they're making money off of average guys begging for that money. And what do these average guys say? You know what? Screw it. I ain't going to do it. You be broke. You be broke. But these men uh, can't get a date because every time they go on Tinder because they're not tall enough or they're not conventionally attractive enough right at the beginning, they get swiped over. I'm not saying, listen, baby, I'm not saying that it should change. I don't care. Fine. If that's the game you want to play, you want to get on Tinder and say, you know what? I'm not going to go after this guy because he's not conventionally attractive. Fine. Cool. Fine. But play the game, man. Play the game, man. But the, what sucks is they start getting our men so young that they don't even know what's going on. By the time they realize that they're being played, they're already in their 30s. Already in their 30s and didn't, do, didn't have any ambition or anything like that. They didn't go to college. They didn't do anything. They felt so depressed. They were so down. Boom. The, it, it, by the time they hit 30, they're already, uh, they're still single, unmarried, never even held a girl's hand. I'm not advocating for sex before marriage, so I'm going to put that out there. I'm not, that's why I didn't bring up that statistic. I'm saying that men aren't even getting, aren't even getting into the marriageable part because they get y'all when y'all are 13. They get y'all when y'all are 12. They get y'all when y'all are young. This meme account is normally... Who do you think looks at meme accounts more than anybody? Teenagers and people in their 20s. So who do you think the OnlyFans models? Who do you think these, these girls right here, who do you think they're getting promoted to? Oh, teenagers and people in their 20s. Huh. They get y'all when y'all are young and they destroy your spirit right then and there. I'm not saying men shouldn't pull themselves up by their boot traps and get over it. But at the same time, when people get you when they're young, think about this. Have y'all ever seen an elephant in a circus? Have you? These big old animals in a circus are completely tamed, knowing that at any moment they can break out of the chains. Most elephants are strong enough to break out of the chains that they're on. And they don't even have to put the elephants on chains. The elephants are taught from a young age to conform. They're beaten. They're stuff like that. They are told that if they don't do what they're supposed to do, they got to do. They're going to get slapped, beaten, harmed, while they're still small. And then once they finally get old enough, big enough to finally break from these chains, it's almost impossible because mentally they're screwed up. That's what happens to our young men. By the time they grow up, everybody's like, you got to man the F up. You got to go. You got to do all this stuff. They've already been scarred. They've already been told they're trash. They're already told they're broke. They're already told they're losers. They're already told they can't get a girl because they ain't got no money. You got 15 year old little girls who are probably doing this OnlyFans stuff. Don't let it confuse you, big dog. Don't think that there ain't little girls who are putting into this OnlyFans thing and then they try to stay and say they're 18 or whatnot. Because it's a manipulative world. It's an evil world. They got little girls in OnlyFans. Don't, don't be lied to, man. I'm not saying that OnlyFans is trying to push that. I'm not give, accusing them of that, but I am saying it'd be, it'd be foolish to think that there aren't little girls who are doing this kind of stuff. Go look around. There's little girls doing this kind of stuff, man. So you got little girls who are making money when they're young. Who knows what they're doing on there? But they're making this money while they're young. So young men can't get a girlfriend in high school. They can't do jack. Because they have no value until they're making money. And it takes so long to build up enough money to even get a girl to look at you these days. And once again, if that's the way the game is going to be played, fine, men. Play the game. 
But at the same time, okay. But just know that the world is going to hate you either way, baby. If you say, well, I guess all I can do is make money. Let me just put my head down and get to the grind and just try to make as much money as possible. And then when you get this money, the women who are your age in their 40s, 35, are going to be like, oh, why don't you want to date me? I'm good. No, you didn't want to date me back when I was young. Forget it now. Forget it. I'm playing the game. I'm going to be 35, and then I'm going to try to find the prettiest girl I can find. That's just how it's going to be, baby. I made all this money. I'm going to try to pick the best of the best. I'm not going after no girl who's average. I'm not going after no girl who ain't who, who ain't wife material. If she ain't willing to cook in the kitchen, if she ain't willing to do the stuff that I ask, I'm gone. <laughs> we just playing the game. That's all I'm saying. Play the game, baby. Anyway. Now, how does we already talked about how this got to the children. I just told you about the young men, but how did this affect young girls? Like I said, you got young girls at young ages at 14, 15, trying to put themselves on display for these older men who are in their 20s, right? And doing all this stuff that is illegal. But they're taught so much from a young age that I need to be pretty hot. And this is the only way I'm going to make money in this world. Because the few women, women are going to college more than ever. You got more women going to college now, right? Getting educated. And then what do you still see promoted? I was a nurse, but I decided to do OnlyFans. I used to be a lawyer, but you know what? I decided to go sell my feet. Y'all see these ads on Facebook and on X now where the guy walks up to somebody and says, how much money do you have in your bank account? And the girl goes, oh, I have 30000 in my bank account. And the, the guy will say, how's that? And they'll be like, oh, I sell my, I sell my feet pics on beautifulfeet.com. Right? It's just no matter what it is. They, this woman just said that she's successful because she sells her feet to average men that she won't date. Hold up. It's a bad world out here. It's So that's why I am so against OnlyFans. It helps nobody. It hurts the women to think they need to be sexually objectified. It hurts the men because it makes them feel like trash. Right. And then they get told they're trash about the same women that they're the same women that are making money off them. And then it's, it hurts the children because these children, these young men, they know they got zero value. So they're just going to be single for a lot, vast majority of their life until they get into their 30s and 40s. And they start making some bread. And then young girls think that they have to sell their body until they hit that 30, 30 year old wall. Right. These women will sell their bodies until they turn 30. And then when they hit that wall, nobody wants to see their body no more. And they want to go after the 20 year olds. Then they're going to get mad and be like, well, I, I, why can't a man date me? I know I only got two kids, but no, everybody loses. Marriages go down. Divorces go up. Less kids are being had. More women think it's cool to be single and uh, happy. Uh, and more men are dang near unsociable because they, they put their nose to the grindstone. They say, I'm just going to make money. So they barely even socialize. They, they, they move up in their companies. They make a ton of money. But by the time they finally get to the dating market, they're weird. And so they, they only work, the women, the only women they could even get, even if they wanted to, and I'm not saying it's bad, but the only women they're going to get is the women who care about their money. Because outside of that, this man doesn't really have any social skills. He really just built himself up, built up a skill and he don't really talk to women. So it's everybody screwed. Thank you. Meme accounts. And like I said, this whole post was deleted. I want to confirm that before I even put that out there. Yep. I just went to go look for this tweet. It's deleted. So you guys just got to see it. You guys just got to see it. Appreciate that. So. And it's all good. All right, guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Sorry, I was looking over here at this comment section. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Y'all have a great night. Peace.